Thank you. Thank you very much to, to the organizers. It's a great pleasure for me to, to be here. Thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to explain this issue. Uh, okay, I don't know what happened. Okay, yes. So I, am I, I will try to, to justify the convenience of inventorying and managing wild edible mushrooms and some experience carried out by the Europe European Mycological Institute. Uh, but first of all, uh, I have to say that fungi provide a large part of forest biodiversity and, as a consequence, fungi contribute to improve forest resilience. In Europe, more than 15,000 species of macrofungi have been catalogued. Just as an example, up to 400, 400 fungal species have been described only in six grams of forest soil. All this amazing fungal diversity below ground forms the so-called wood white wet. This network allows the transfer of water and nutrients between different trees and also allows communication in the face of events such as the arrival of pests or water stress. This wood white wet makes forests more resilient. But in addition, mushrooms have been a source of rural de development in many forest areas. We use more than 260 species in Europe for commercial purposes. Recreational use and self-consumption is more widespread in richer countries, while commercial use prevails in less developed economies. 50% of the countries have some kind of collecting legislation. Despite the high potential of wild, wild edible mushrooms in Europe, there are two main threats which may condition production and diversity in the future. One is global change and the other one is over harvesting. Indeed, mushroom productivity can be affected by climate change at different levels, Phen phenological shifts, habitat replacement, changes, changes in species composition, more variability in Mediterranean areas and increase in the production linked to the warming in cold areas. Modeling the consequences of climate change on fungal community and adapting forests, taking into account the below ground fungal connectivity must be considered. Harvesting pressure in some areas with high rural population density or high mycotourism attractiveness may raise doubts about the long-term over-exploitation of the resource. It is important to know the number of collectors and the quantities collected in the forests. Accordingly, to take advantage of all the opportunities that fungi can provide and mitigate threats, we encourage to integrate mycological resources into forest management. For this, it is important to characterize production and harvesting in our forests. Unfortunately, information on wild edible mushroom production in European forests is still very scarce. There are some exceptions in Switzerland, Spain and Finland with long-term monitoring sites that have, been, have generated models useful for forest management. For this purpose, weekly sporocarp inventories based on permanent plots or transits have been used. Due to the high costs associated with these long-term sampling systems, other tools are being developed to detect and quantify fungal species based on molecular genetic techniques. In addition, expert models are also being used combining popular field knowledge with GIS tools. This methodology has been used to estimate the mycological potential in some regions such as Castilla y León or Aragon in Spain. But to really know the rate of harvesting in the forests, we recommend to estimate the number and characteristics of mushroom collectors. Methodologies based on household surveys and mycotourist surveys have been used. This allows the estimation of harvesting pressure, harvesting yields and economic benefits for rural areas. Some regions have developed harvesting permits using online systems. In this respect, new technologies and big data open up many opportunities to control harvesting sustainability. Another important tool for fungal, for fungal production management is mycosilviculture. Silvicultural trait treatments make possible to optimize production and fungal diversity. 
We can also improve accessibility within picking areas and control the harvesting pressure. But to develop sustainable management of mushroom requires the collaboration of all stakeholders involved, forest owners, forest managers, harvesters, development agents, researchers, etc. The exchange of good practices offered by the European cooperation could be an opportunity for all interested territories. In this regard, the European Mycological Institute is a European grouping of territorial cooperation created with the aim of collaborating and exchanging good practices for the management and valorization of wild edible mushroom in Europe. We invite you to get to know our projects and to join us. Thank you very much for your attention.